Hi everyone, this is Aaron Martins here and uh, it's about time we got a new Sujin. Been working on it for a long time. Uh, you've seen this bait before, some of you haven't, some of you have never tried it. Uh, I got about 35, 37 years, I think more than that now, 39 years, about 37, 38 years of experience with this bait. I uh, started off in California as a kid fishing saltwater with it. I uh, also had a company that made these 17 years ago I made them. Uh, this is a really similar design off my original design. One of the cool things, I'll start with a pack. Uh, we have two, you know, some of these have two, some will have three. There's gonna be a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say confusion, but there's a lot to this bait. If you've never thrown it, you may be a little confused by it at first, but it's kind of like drop shotting or throwing a spinner bait. It's like any bait out there. It, it takes a while to learn it. Um, the thing I'm going to do with this bait is because I have so much experience with it and I've had custom ones for almost 20 years, is we're going to have, you know, say a half ounce. Now, a lot of the companies out there, and even back when I made them, I only had two or three hook sizes. But we're going to have multiple hook sizes eventually. Right now we already do, but we're going to have even more. Uh, because sometimes you want to throw a half ounce with a tiny bait on it in deeper water. Well, you know, a big hook's not going to work as good. It won't move as well. So. We're gonna have a lot of different hook sizes. I'm not gonna get into that that much. It'll take me forever. That'd be a different video. Uh, but the really cool thing that me and Picasso did is they put spare bills in here. And of course, I feel for the people that have the old ones that maybe they left in the sun or the back of their car and they split or in a hot compartment. And they can split if they get real hot. This material is about as good as you can get. It's, this, this is what's taking us so long to come out with this bait. It's getting the material right. But, you know, things can happen to it. You know whatever, but we got spare bills in there, so go ahead and use your old ones, I don't care. Uh, but once you use these ones, you're gonna probably end up getting more of the Picasso Sujins. Uh, these are actually different uh, bills too, they're not the same. Um, you got, I think uh, right now we're putting two different thicknesses, so you may have a 35 thousandths and a 40 thousandths thick bill, or 30 thousandths on some of the lighter size. It's gonna vary with the different size heads, but this allows you to uh, to adjust to temperature. Um, water temperature does affect this bill a lot. So say you fish in the summertime, you fish that same bill you're fishing in the summer when the water's warm, and you go through that same bait in the wintertime, the water's cold, it's not gonna move properly at all. Matter of fact, it's gonna probably blow it out and it's not gonna work and be like, what happened to this bait? I'm gonna be showing you how to remove and put a bill on. So what I do is I'm gonna twist it so I can get a grip on it. And don't be afraid about this stuff breaking, it's pretty stout. And I get to where I can so I just slide it sideways a little bit so I can get grip on it and I'm just gonna slide it off, like so. And this is powder coated so you're safe to, what if it's straight lead, I wouldn't suggest doing that. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the back part behind the eye, there's that little lead piece that keeps the bill level. It might be kind of tricky showing you guys. I kind of do it at a different angle. So you get that eye, the hole of the bill over that and then stretch it. It's kind of hard to show a camera, but stretch it over the head of the bait, straight down. So we're upside down now, and now you're gonna spin it, and then pull the bill forward. It's pretty much that easy, you're, it's on there. Um, a little tricky to show a camera when you're doing it backwards, but that's how you do the bill. So spin it a little bit, so you can get a grip on it, slide it off, and same thing, put it over the eye, stretch it, and it usually comes up like that and then spin it around so it's vertical and then with all your fingers or three or four fingers pull the bill all the way around forward. Make sure it's seated and the bill correctly, the gill bill is correctly seated on the on the head itself and make sure the bill is also straight on the eye, you know, go off the top and that's it. Again it has a double strong hook, it's the same as I'm using the Rhino head, it's a 604, it's a very strong hook, it uh, sticks them really good. Very, very strong, especially in the bigger sizes. You can use 20 pound line, even braid, and not worry about flexing the hook out. Uh, also, we countersunk this backside a little bit, so, it, so you can push the head of the bait up as close to the head as possible, or even inside of it a little bit. Um, we also have a little spot in the back of the eye, behind the eye, that helps keep the bill vertical. So the bill stays just about vertical on all the baits, so that we've all right, pre-adjust them. And now when you go to a thinner material or a thicker material, it may vary a little bit, but not too much. Um, it also, this bait, the way we designed it with the help of Picasso is it comes over snags better than it ever has. So 
Um, right now, the way this bait is, it's actually tremendous. It's almost like a football head in rocks. It actually doesn't hardly ever get snagged. Uh, you can wind it really slow over stuff and not worry about hanging up too bad. Um, but the, I guess the biggest thing, I kind of hit it up before, you know, the, the smooth cylinder design is something I came up with almost 20 years ago. I, I still use the same keeper because it works so well, and especially on this bait. Uh, the material is the best part. Um, this material is, is right. Uh, a lot of materials out there that you see today are not correct. Uh, they're either too stiff or the wrong material. Uh, that's what makes the bait move properly. Uh, so that's what takes the longest, is actually getting the material right. But that is a new Sujin by Picasso. It'll come in a pack like that. And uh, like I said, it comes with different, you know, obviously a smaller one's gonna have more baits, and as bigger you go, uh, have less baits. But also spare bills. Check it out, it's available in a lot of retailers now. And there's more to come, and we already have them up to an ounce and a quarter, and they're getting bigger than that. So check it out, it's a Picasso Sujin.